morning everybody. It's Monday morning again. Monday the 7th of September. It's never ending. I haven't slept very well. I don't know why I couldn't sleep. Nobody's fault. Just couldn't sleep. So I'm shattered. I'm about to start work. Joys. Just dropped Jennifer off. Went to the post office and dropped parcels even though they're not open yet. They open at 8. Uh, or 8.30, something like that, but the spa itself that the post office is open so I can drop them off. So I dropped off three and I've got another four going out tomorrow. It's been quite a good weekend, really happy. One of the Cindy items has sold. I listed one last night and the first one sold, so I'm really happy. Well, I listed two last night and one sold, so can't be any happier with that. That's brilliant. So I'm going to list another five of those today and get some measuring done on some clothing so I can put some clothing up. So, fingers crossed, I'll get some more good sales in. Oh, I need a drink. Got a cup of tea here and a Coke for later. I'm going to crack on and I'll see you later. Hopefully today I'll be doing a colouring chat and filming part of the new video for the, um, what's it called? The the vinyl vlog, the, the singles. I might just do it in parts because there's so many of them. I'll see you later. So we've all finished work for the day. Um, I was exhausted so I had a little sleep this afternoon, so did Jennifer. And now she's all snuggled up to her daddy who's pretending to be asleep but he's not. Uh, while she watches Andy's prehistoric adventures. It's really nice to see her snuggled up to Paul like that. It's just so sweet. He's like, don't get jealous. I'm not jealous. I think it's great. Uh, she's time she wants to cuddle me and there's time she wants to cuddle daddy and that's perfect. I love it. So I've got to go up the shed later so I'll take you up with me because I've got four to pull and um, we'll see what happens then. Someone's fallen asleep. She was asleep on me, but I had to move because I was getting cramp. And she hasn't woken up, love her. She's so sweet. Okay, I'm in the shed. Jennifer's actually gone to bed. She's absolutely shattered. So I am going to pull a few items. I've got four to go out. Two clothing, two non-clothing. So uh, let's get started, shall we? First item is a Peruna jumper. It's really nice, actually. If it was my size, I would have kept it. So... It's a bit wet outside, it's raining at the moment, just spotting, but enough for me to have to write the labels in here, so. Next item of clothing is a Bon Marche top. Not bad, I think it cost me 50p, something like that, anyway, it didn't cost much, I know that. Um, most of my clothing's either a pound, between 50, 50p and two pounds, so I don't pay any more than that. I try and pay between 50 and a pound, so. Let's get this one done, and then uh, onto the non items. Last two to post uh, to pack uh, is this lens. That's off for £16 plus shipping. And um, the Cindy floor cupboard, which I only listed last night, sold £20, which was the ask asking price. Really pleased with that. So I'm going to another five for Cindy items tonight and measure some clothing that I've got to list. So yeah, I'm going to crack on and get these two packed, take them down, because now Jennifer's in nursery. Spa opens at half past seven. I can drop them off after dropping her off, so it's not too bad. All right, let's get this done and then we'll go back in. I know it's a mess in here. I've got an idea of what I'm going to be doing next to tidy up a bit. It's just because we've got her trike in here. There's a box of camera stuff I need to go through. That's my next one. There's some of Christopher's shoes that he has bought and either hasn't worn or has worn once. He's got a pair of boots and he's worn once. They were like 70 quid, down from 95. And a pair of trainers he bought and he's never worn them so he said to get rid of them so i've got them here i'll uh i'll get them on the unlisted shelf i might try and do that bit tonight so lots to do um yeah so i'm all for recycling so i've got this little box here from amazon it's a bit battered i'm going to put the lens in here i'm going to wrap the lens really well and i'm going to put some extra cardboard in this box just to, to toughen it up a bit more and I've got that here this is what was an old Amazon mailer I think yeah it looks like an Amazon mailer and sometimes I just keep these not all the time just to stiffen um, boxes that aren't very that need a bit of extra so it's a single walled box I think yeah so I'll just put some extra in to make it. So that one fits in this box. These are the ones I actually bought for cameras. And I'm probably gonna need to order some more of those if the Cindy stuff keeps selling. And that'll go in there. But the lens will go in this one. I've got my bubble wrap behind me. In these units, I've got a load of newspaper to use as a weed fill. 
I'm going to crack on with that and I will definitely see you back in the house in a bit. Hey everyone, I'm just going to make a short video before bed. Look, colour and chat because I haven't done one for a while. It's not going to be very long, I'm not in the mood. Um, we've just found out that Caerphilly, which is the borough council we live in, is going into a local lockdown. So this is a huge borough um, from six o'clock tomorrow. So this has annoyed me more than a full lockdown because you can't go out of the borough. Nobody can come into the borough unless it's for essential travel, though that's very um, ambiguous as to what that is. Can you go out to work? If you, you know, if they say you can work from home, you can. Paul's supposed to go into his office on, on Wednesday to do something. Can he go? Can he not? Nobody knows. Uh, schools and pubs, though, can stay open, but you can't meet indoors with family. So I can go to the pub and get pissed, but I can't go inside my parents' house. Yet they're elderly and do need some help sometimes, especially my mum because of her ankle, though it's getting better. So it's really pissed me off that they can leave pubs open, but I can't go and see my parents. Yeah, I'm not going out anywhere and seeing anybody else. Yeah. This has depressed me more than the original lockdown done, did. I mean, I don't mind the working from home, but I don't mind not being able to go out of the borough, but I do mind not being able to see my mum and dad. And for Jennifer, it's, going to, it's especially hard because she doesn't understand why she can't go and put her arms around her granddad. She's two and a half, but she can go to nursery. I can go to the pub. It's not right. Um, Kefili, to be fair, Kefili Borough Council had this dropped on them as well from the, the government. And they're trying to get as much information as they can to clarify it before tomorrow's um, lockdown uh, kicks in. So it kicks in at six o'clock tomorrow night. So at least tomorrow after nursery, me and Jen can go and spend the afternoon with mum and dad before this all kicks off. We've also got to wear face masks in shops. I don't have a problem with that, even though I'm asthmatic. It's warm, it's hot, it's not very nice, but it's it's tolerable. It doesn't bother me. Um, as I said, if it gets too much, if I'm in a shop, then I'll just leave the shop, take it off for a bit and go back in with it on. Um, but I, I, I don't see it being too much of a problem, to be honest. Um, I was wearing one around the house here and here, it really didn't bother me. But, um, yeah, I always said if they made it better in shops, I would wear one. So um, I don't really go in the shops on uh, on the weekend. Um, Paul drops my post in, but again, that can be done very quickly in the morning um, with a quick mask on, it won't hurt. But yeah, I've, I've got to be honest, it's really annoyed me because I've done everything I can to keep myself and my family safe. Um, I've abided by social distancing. I've only gone out even recently when it's absolutely necessary. Yes, I've gone to the pub a couple of times and we've taken Jennifer to the park because she's two and a half and she needs to be able to be outside to play, especially if the weather's nice. And yet there's those people who have been flouting it that of course this mess. That and the fact that of course they are testing more people, so of course they're going to find more cases. The more people they test, the more cases they're going to find. That's logical. Um, it's just really annoying, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm sure I'll be calm enough by tomorrow. I'm not going to see mum dad tomorrow. I actually phoned my mum and said, look, if dad needs to go to what, he needs to go tomorrow before six o'clock because after that he won't be able to go because it's in Newport Borough rather than Caerphilly. In fact, Morrison's um, is within Caerphilly, within, is in, uh, what's it called, um, Newport Borough. It's Rogerstone, which is classed as Newport. Now, I only go to Morrison's, really, to get petrol, to go to some McDonald's. I can live without a McDonald's. Yep, I can. I'm, it's just very annoying. Um, but, yeah, we'll have to see. Anyway, I'm going to make a colouring video because, you know, I haven't done one for hours. It's getting late. I want to get it done soon so I can try and get some sleep before morning if I can sleep. I had another sales day, so I've got four going out tomorrow and I've had another sale, which is great. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I, that's, I can still post, as long as I can still post my items I've got, I've got plenty to list. I'll do that. I was going to do some measuring tonight, but of course I, my mind lost it with this whole lockdown business, so I'll do it tomorrow. Anyway, I've still got all the Cindy stuff to list. I've still got quite a few listings I can put up. Um... I won't be filming tomorrow, so I might do some photos tomorrow. Anyway, that's it from me for tonight. That's Monday. What a day. <laughs> Let's hope it's only last a fortnight and we can come out of lockdown. We're supposed to be going to Weymouth at the end of the month, beginning of October. We got to council by the 28th, so we'll have to see. I've waffled enough. I'll see you later. Bye. Morning, everyone. As you can see, I've got my headset on. I'm about to, to do some work. Um, a few emails, some calls, I expect. Um, 
Jennifer's at nursery, she went okay. They've got to meet outside uh, the gate now and they were busy drawing little marks on the floor with chalk, little rainbows for them to stand on to keep the distance in, which is great, but yeah, no problems. She didn't want to go in at first, but when, as soon as um, Hayley took her, she walked in happily and I found out why she was so tired last night. She was bent most of the day running up and down the garden bless her so we'll be off to see nana and granddad today because we don't know when we're going to get to see them again because of the local lockdown that's being implemented tonight i've had two more sales um i sold a camera and a dvd box set so those will be going out tomorrow and tomorrow will be the first day that paul has to wear a mask in the shop um we have got a box of disposable mask i've ordered a washable one for myself but that might come taking a, a while to come i'm only gonna get one but because i only go out into a shop like once a week so which is when we do our main supermarket shop so i can just wear that one and then throw it in the wash but um yeah i had one on last night and it was warm but i didn't find it particularly bothersome for my asthma so i'm not too worried about that obviously as i said if it gets too much i'll just leave the shop take it off and then go back in with it on when i feel better but i can't see it being too much of a problem for myself which is great and i know that some people really do struggle with them and i do sympathize with them it's not good um i warned my dad that if he needed to go to what to go today uh, because what technically comes under Newport Borough, so he can't go there after today. Same as Morrison's and McDonald's. That doesn't really bother me. We, If we were going somewhere like Cardiff, we'd stop for a McDonald's on the way back, but as we can't go to Cardiff, we wouldn't bother. Paul's told his mum she won't be able to come up. Um, she seems to be more concerned that she's not going to get her wall done. But then the guy who does it's a builder and he needs to travel to work. So he will be able to do it because you can travel for essential work business and that's his business. If he doesn't do it, he doesn't make any money. And he's working on his own. So it's not like it's, he's going to come into contact with anybody. So he should be fine. I don't know why she's worried. Um, but I'm going to crack on with work and I'll talk to you later when we see Nana and Grandad. Bye. So um, I finished work and I've actually been to Mum's. You probably can hear Jennifer downstairs. She wants to have a sleep, but she wants to go downstairs in her car and watch telly. I've got to take the camera with me um, but yeah I popped to see mum it was nice and she was eating cheese with granddad and I had some toast um, mum's wrist is still weak on her right hand and um, she's right handed so I suggested that perhaps she had a colouring book and some pencils and just tried to strengthen her wrist by doing a bit of colouring and I said just a few minutes each night and then if you enjoy it you can build it up and do more um, and if you really enjoy it, then I'll get you some pencils of your own, a nice set of pencils. I'd get her the complete Black Widows and um, some books. So there's a Colour in Heaven book I don't use, which is Dogs 2018. I don't think I'm ever going to colour in it, to be honest. It's nice, but I don't really, I'm not really that confident uh, colouring animals. Though I am getting better. Um, so I thought I'll give her that because the first picture in it is a rough collie. And that's the only reason I actually bought the book. was because of the rough collie. So I'm going to find that book out. I'm going to let her have my marker of fines. Which are a hard pencil. But I think it will be better because they won't crumble and break. And she won't have to try and sharpen them all the time. So I'm going to find them out in a minute. I'm going to sharpen them all to a nice point. I know exactly where they are. I can see them. Um, I'm going to give her a pencil sharpener. Just one of my steadlers. I've got loads of those. And I can always order them more. And a colouring book. And just let her you know that's how I started off with one book and or one or two books and some markers and some pen and, and the marker of fiends were the first ones I had and I still like them um, but I do prefer a softer core and I said if you like them but you think they're a bit hard and you enjoy the colouring experience and you want to do a bit more because she usually does word switches and stuff like that but she's fed up of reading the same books over again um i said i'll get you some coloring books and a set of the black widows i said i'll take them out of the tin i'll put them in a pencil case because she hates spiders i'll get her a big case like i've got i'll get her all the sets one at a time and she can just enjoy them um, so that's the plan i i think she will enjoy it she used to love coloring as a kid and doing that I, I think she's one of those people who thinks it's a bit strange at her age to be coloring but uh yeah so i'm home now i've got a bit of a headache so i'm gonna have a rest um I've got to sort out, I've got a little pens on my bed where I was sorting them out ready for colouring in the Jade Summer Colour by Numbers. So I'm going to do some of that tonight. And yeah, I'm just going to chill out for a little bit. I've got, I said, three orders to pack, so I'll show you those later when I go up and do them. 
and I've still got those flip throughs I've still got two flip throughs to film and I'll try and do that tonight along with the record video that for the other channel um, but yeah I'll find out that book now I know exactly where it is it's going to take me two minutes to get together the supplies for mum and I said if you enjoy it I'll get you some, some more if you want to try markers I'll get you some you know cheap markers you can have some super tips you know I'll get you some stuff for Christmas let's see what she you know I just try to encourage her to do something more than just reading or word searches which word search yes she does use a pen but it's not as you know it's just drawing a line it's not actually moving your wrist very much I just think colouring might help it a little bit I said just give it a go if you don't enjoy it it's fine I'll have it back if you do I'll get you some books and some supplies you know she's she'll just do one book she'll do the whole book from cover to cover and then I'll get her another one or uh, if she enjoys it I'll say right well let me know when you get to the end and I'll find you another book she said, if, if she says oh can you get me some more dogs I'll say I think Keller and Heaven's got another one I'll try and order that for you and I said flowers are nice as well so I can always get her a flower book you can tell how much I love my mum don't you oh she's crying downstairs now She's going to have to come up here and go to sleep. I think I'll go and get her. Um, but yeah, I do. More now that I know what she went through. Now I'm a mum. I know. I know. I know. I understand now. But there we go. Anyway, I'm going to go so I can clear this bed off and tidy up a bit and uh, sort this stuff up for my mum. I will see you a bit later because obviously I said I've got a pull orders i've got to give jennifer a bath tonight because she is covered in paint where they were painting at nursery and then she was painting at granddad's and uh because it's the last day she'll be going into granddad's house we can only go and visit and from a distance if it's nice and just to drop some supplies off and uh yes yeah, so so she's covered in paint basically it's all in her hair and they've been running around in the garden so she's mucky as hell so i'll get that her bath i'll do my orders put her to bed and then I'll be doing some measuring and listing some more Cindy stuff. Because I saw another Cindy item today. So there's two of the, I think it was 20 items have, have sold. Which is, no, I'm happy with that. I'm averaging about three sales a day. I'm happy with that. If I can get more, brilliant. But the main thing is stuff is selling. And I'm um, making a bit of money. I've had my first payment from managed payments. I haven't looked at it. It's, it's gone into my bank account. It'll pull through on my QuickBooks. PayPal won't now because there's nothing from PayPal going. Um, stuff from that like, I buy from PayPal will, but uh, that'll be it. I might just unlink that account. Um, but you know, I might need it if I'm using PayPal to pay because you can still pay via PayPal. So I can pay for goods via PayPal, but it goes into eBay's account, and then eBay pay it to the buyer to the seller. As a seller, I don't get the payments through PayPal ebay are working as a man in the middle so i don't have e uh, paypal fees of course the paypal fees have now been taken over by ebay and they've put a fee on and so on which is understandable people complaining that it's costing them more but it, it's not really not by much because you're not paying the paypal fee that you were paying before which was 30p plus 10 percent or something now it's 36p plus a percentage of whatever it is depending on the category it's in i'm not really going to break a sweat over it I just look at the overall total for the month and if I'm in profit I'm in profit last month yeah we were 25 quid down but that's because I bought that Cindy stuff so that's fine I don't have a problem with that that's part of business you're gonna end up out of profit sometimes obviously the better I get at it the more I pick up the more I sell the less of the deficits I'll have so that's just done to me although I can't go out and source at the moment again because of lockdown it might be bundles of clothes from eBay again I'll see you after I've had a little rest. I won't be long. Bye now. Okay, guys, up at the shed. Three orders to pull. No clothing, so it's all stuff from this side. That's going to be fun. Because <laughs> I've got to find the bits I need and try and get a bit sorted. I've got to get this thing sorted. Right, I'm going in. I'll see you in a minute. Guys, to show you what I, I sold, I sold. Um, the box set of Hustle was my personal copy anyway. It's all the Pentax camera, which is this one in a case, and the second of the Cindy items sold, which is the dining tables and the dining table and chairs. I'm going to bubble wrap some of that so it's safe. Um, so I'm going to be doing that now. So that's sold in the last 24 hours. So great. It seems to be averaging around three orders a day. I'm happy with that. I'll do some more listing today. I'll do some clothes measuring as well. 
I'm gonna crack on and get this lot packed up and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. I've just come up to bed. I've done my five listings for the day. I measured six clothing items ready for listing and I packed my three orders that you saw earlier and I've had two more sales since then as well which is great ones another Cindy item it's one I listed tonight it's going really quickly I guess I could have put the prices up but I think I've got them at the right level to turn them over quite quickly and get the money back um yeah so another Cindy item sold an item of clothing which is great I've had my first payment out from Managed Payments, which is great. It's gone into my bank, but for some reason it's not filtering through to my QuickBooks. I'm going to have to have a look. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put it all in myself. And it's going to have to go in a bit, at, in like, in... Oh gosh. In, in, um... I'm going to have to manage, manually put it in every day. Um, which would be a nightmare. It should just filter straight through. So I'm up in bed now. I'm going to take my, uh asthma medication I'm gonna possibly colour for 10, 10 or so minutes and then I'm gonna go to sleep because obviously it's still work day tomorrow Jennifer's got to go to nursery she's still awake next door by the way she will not go to sleep she is a pest some nights obviously she didn't run around the garden enough today um, but yeah it's all good just a matter of getting through each day we are now officially in lockdown mini lockdown and sort of like lockdown light because obviously things are still open you can still go to the pub we just can't leave the area <laughs> which is annoying because we're not going to get our holiday i don't think but if that's the case i still still have a week off and just potter around the house do some ebay and see what happens annoying never mind i'm going to go to bed i'm going to do a bit of coloring and i will see you tomorrow tomorrow i have to sort out the shed because i need to get to my skirts box because i've sold a skirt so i desperately need to get into that box to find the skirt i've sold <laughs> so i'll keep i'm gonna have to do it when i put jennifer up for a nap have my lunch and then i'll have to excuse me oh, go out and do it for an hour oh i'm off i'm gonna go do some coloring for half an hour before bed i'll see you tomorrow morning everyone uh, I'm at work but I'm having real trouble with the systems this morning I've had to reboot my computer like four or five times it's just not working properly I might have to ring tech again in a minute just be on the phone with my one other thing now I might have to ring about something else because it's just not connecting to the system it's connecting to the work service but then something else isn't connected in there and I don't know why. Oh, it's just a bloody nightmare. <sighs> I wish I had a day off. I really do. So tired. So tired of this. Still, just trying to log in again. <sighs> Jennifer went into nursery very, very well this morning. She just walked straight in quite happy, which is the first time. So I'm glad about that. So that makes life a bit easier. Um, I'm just, I've been sharpening pencils for my mum while I'm trying to load my computer so she doesn't have to sharpen them straight away because of her wrist, so anyway, I'm going to just see if this logs me in properly this time. Hi guys, uh, another day for getting to vlog. Basically nothing happened anyway, I went and got Jennifer and we, we both had a doze. I was stressed this morning because nothing was working. Seems to be working alright now, so. Um, I've got three orders to post, but I'm not going to do it today. So I've got it on five day dispatch, so I'm going to have a night off of going up the shed and do it. I'll do it tomorrow afternoon when I get home. Instead, I'm just going to um, get some listings up, measure some, and just do a bit of colouring. I might make a video. I might make a video downstairs, actually, of the records. I'm still meaning to do that. I haven't done it, but I will. Um, I'm just tired. So as you can hear, you can probably hear her chattering in the background. I'm going to take some washing down and my notebook with my find my notebook I'm sure it was up here uh, with my measurements in and I'm gonna get the stuff done and I'll see you. hi I've just had a shower everybody's in bed I'm not feeling too well my ass was playing up tonight so I thought I'd just have a shower and come up to bed um, I haven't pulled my three my three orders I have listed um, but I haven't pulled the three I'll do that tomorrow afternoon when I'm feeling a bit better just feeling a bit a bit wheezy um, <coughs> this happens occasionally, um, it's allergy season, you know, with the weather changing and everything. I make sure I take up my dosage of medicines to 
get over it but it's nice to have a nice shower jennifer's in bed she's still awake so i'm not trying not to talk very loudly i am just watching uh, something called unsolved cold case detective that's what i'm watching so i'm just gonna go and watch a few of those uh, that's their newest one before i uh, go to sleep and do a bit of coloring because uh, i'd like to to do a bit of coloring in one of my pattern books just something simple i don't fancy anything complicated today and i've got to finish sharpening the pencils for my mum uh, taking them down to her tomorrow if it's nice and we'll go and sit in their garden so i'll be fine tomorrow i feel great i'm just tired and wheezy but i'll take my meds and i'll be all right and i'll see you tomorrow so yeah i couldn't find my book for drafting um the clothing but i found it now i put it somewhere thinking oh i'll see it there and then when i was looking for it i didn't so I listed Cindy. So tomorrow I'll be drafting those and getting some clothes listed. And tomorrow night I might photograph and dra and measure as well. So <sighs> another day. So it's Thursday tomorrow. Only two more days to the weekend. Paul's got Friday off, and he says I don't know what to do. I might like, just do whatever you feel like. If you want to do stuff, do stuff. And if you just want to chill and relax, chill and relax. You know. I mean, I won't even get him up to come to the post office with me and to the to the nursery on Friday morning. And if he don't get up on his own, I won't get him up. But uh, I'm going to yawn. <sighs> That's it from me, and I'll see you in the morning. Well, it's Thursday. Good morning. So I've had another sale, so I've got four to pack today, which I'll do after I pick Jennifer up from nursery. I'll, if she's tired enough, I'll put her down for a nap, and I'll go up and do it before I... Uh, do anything else so it's done i didn't feel like doing that i feel better today i feel fine i said i just had a wheezing incident it was fine fine tired though always makes me tired when i have an asthma incident but i'll live it's not the end of the world it is thursday which is great so paul's off tomorrow i'm not but that's cool I mean, there are times when i have days off and he doesn't and i'm probably going to take one for myself as soon as i can um yeah just thursday gonna chill out and do my work get that done and then get my baby and if she's tired put her down and i'll head up off the shed and uh pack up those nice items i sold um a camera that i listed uh, not long ago so things are going well obviously i want more but i still got to figure out why quickbooks isn't pulling the, the sales through from the, the bank account i'm using it should do it's set up to and it's switched on to but it, it's not and i'm not sure why i might have to have a look see if i can find out it's annoying but there we go anyway are you on? <laughs> no, I'll see you after work. So I finished work, I'm gonna go and get Jan now. Uh, this is a book I'm taking down to my mum's. My mum, it's the collie. These pencils in this case, which are the Marcos. Nice pencils actually, I was sharpening them up and I was thinking, these are really nice. So I'm gonna drop them down to mum's and then come home and see if Jennifer have a sleep. And I've got four orders to pull. It's Thursday night. So packed my orders i'm a bit annoyed with ebay because it went to put my listings up and all the photographs have disappeared they're saying they're there but they're not it's really weird as it's on every list and i'm hoping it's a glitch so i've just i've thought i'm not doing anything tonight if it's like that tomorrow i'm gonna have to re-photograph every single item luckily there's not that many drafts now he was and I'll uh, photograph some tomorrow after, re photograph some tomorrow afternoon if necessary, and then put those up straight away. It's just so annoying because sales were going well, and now, of course, this has happened. It's never ending problems with eBay sometimes. I'm watching Cold Case Detective on YouTube. As he would have recognized <sighs> and i am going to grab a coloring book and do a little bit of coloring i think i'm going to do a bit in my uh, coloring heaven halloween magazine followed by starting another pattern in one of the jade summer color by numbers book which is the newest one mandalas which is which came the, uh, yesterday um so yeah but i want to do a bit more in my uh color in heaven book so i'm gonna do that first and that's it really it's been a really non-day i gave mum her coloring book she was pleased she likes it she hasn't started any coloring yet but she said she's going to so i'll, I'll believe it when it happens with mum because i hope she does 
and he found that the cartridge of Arthur's that was found in the free garden... Near the end of the week. In the end, I couldn't be bothered to cook tonight because I really fancied curry and I forgot to get chicken out of the freezer, so I ordered one from, from the tamarind. In the victim's and it was blinking lovely. Paul had his usual tandoori dinner, and myself and Jennifer, although she had a bit of his chicken, his tandoori chicken, she loves it. We had a chicken passanda. She loves poppadoms. She loves a poppadom and mango chutney. Oh, she scooped it up and some rice. We had um, and kima, kima rice, and she was scooping that up as well. So she had plenty this evening, which is good. So she's good. That Bruce I'm so tired. Oh, I've got to top up my drop and go tomorrow. I was going to do it tonight, I forgot, and then I got angry because the. the two. Well, I didn't get angry, I just got annoyed with eBay, so I'll do it in the morning. And that's it for tonight. I'm going to crack on with this colouring. A bit wheezy again tonight. I don't know what it is at night. Hmm. Try something new tomorrow. Anyway, it's Friday tomorrow. Yes. So I'm wondering if there's anything auction I want. Can I get away with saying that's essential travel because it's picking up stock for my business? Technically it is. I can't run a business without stock, so I could probably get away with it. But unless there's something really special in there, I'm not going to worry. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. Because I can order some clothes from eBay. There's a guy who sells bundles of high street stuff. Pretty cheap. I can always get some from him. I might order some from him after I've paid my fees. Anyway, that's it. I will see you later. Hi! So it's uh, the Friday afternoon. We've ordered our fish and chips for tonight. Yay! Um, I finished work, so I'm gonna have a rest because uh, Paul's not been working. So he's gonna look after Jennifer for a bit. We've just had a knock on the door, which is some painting stuff for Jennifer, which we'll get out later. Especially if it's raining over the weekend. I'm still watching Cold Case Detective on YouTube. It's really good. I've been watching it all morning. Uh, in between work, it's on in the background, so I'm really, really been watching it. I'm gonna play a game. The spot card, I just chill out for half an hour and then go and play with Jen if she's awake. But we try and put her down for a nap in the afternoon because she gets so tired and grouchy and then just falls asleep on me. This way she is awake uh, until it's time for bed. So. Yeah, no sales today. I haven't checked that. I've got to go and check a item I've sent because it hasn't arrived yet. It went off on... I'm going to say, I want to say Tuesday. Is soft spoken. Yeah, it went off on Tuesday, so it might have arrived today because uh, it's second class. Uh, but I'll go and check the track it and so I'll go and have a look, see what they're saying. It might be just held up and then I'll email the person back. Uh, it'll be well as it works, so I couldn't. So I will let you know what's going to be happening later. We're quizzing tonight, we weren't going to, but we are. And it's a 90s movies, movies, 90s music quiz tonight, so you can join us for that as well. Bought Jennifer some painting stuff from Amazon. Lots of little bits and pieces, including pots. Lots of paint. Of course, she wants to use it straight away. She's making hell of a mess on my plastic tablecloth, which is fine because it'll rub off. You love painting, don't you, Jen? Yes. That's why we're waiting for our fish and chips to arrive, aren't we, Paul? So What's it? Oh, I'll let her scribble on that one, I expect. Is it? I don't know, is it lined? No, no that's for her to scribble on. No, 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 my diary's upstairs. Mm -hmm. You already knows you have, Jen. Jen's got a cold. Well, oh, she'll be oh, back at nursery, isn't she? Oh, no. What's the matter? What have you done? Oh, my, do you want some more paper? Yes, sir. Hi, Dad. Should we make handprints? Yes, sir. Wow. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks really good. Oh, you're beautiful, Jen. Uh-oh. Well, yes, you're going to get it on the thing. I'll wipe it up in a bit. The face mask. That's what I was wearing the other day to try it out, isn't it? Yeah, I'll, I'll wear that one on. Yeah, give it another go. Are you done? All right. You want another piece of paper? Oh, that. It's very green and a bit red. I'm not sure what it is, but it's very good, Jen. All right. Now we're using yellow.
You like colour, don't you? Yes. I mix. You like it when I mix? Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. No, it's fine. Looks lovely. It's a lovely yellow. It's very sunny, isn't it? Mm. So we're just getting ready for the quiz. 90s music today. You can hear some in the background going on. I've been looking at the auctions. We're in lockdown. There's tons of stuff this weekend. Although I suppose technically a reasonable excuse would be picking up a stock for my business. I'll see you after the first round and let you know how we're getting on. It's the end of the first round and we're waiting for the scores. Surprise, surprise. It's hard. It's just choosing the tracks to play in the um, in the break. It looks like I've got bunches, but it's just the way my ponytail's hanging. Uh, 15 seconds left. <laughs> and then I'm going to give you scores. Yes. Get on with it. Oh, uh, I love Stu. He's brilliant, but he don't raff waffle. Voting, and there you can know you can see the results. Cigarettes and alcohol came out on top there. So that's going to break. Uh, what else are we going to have? Uh, second on that one there is uh, no limits. So oh, gold. <laughs> bit of a, that's a bit of diversity. That's you know. Uh, what else? Thirty-eight. Uh, we'll come after that one. Thirty-five. <sighs> we'll fly was. away. Uh, we'll do that one, and then just say one more for argument's sake, just in case they're too short. Uh, 35, here we go, for intergalactic. Not a bad choice. Let's have the scores, no, do scores on the doors. So, right. Uh, Get up a scores, drink then. I'm sure you want to know where you're at. So yeah, we want that more. Let's have a look, there we go. On the screen for you. Let's have a look now. at the scores. Go for us, go for us. Oh, we're not at the bottom. No, no, still going, still going. What that? Are we actually on playing this game? There, we're at 24. Hi, the mid table. There's over 60 playing. That's cool, isn't it? It's all going to go downhill from here. You wait and see. I am going to go and get another drink and some Monster Munch pickled onion. Because I can. If I can find them. And I'll be back soon. Right. End of round two. It went a bit downhill. There was a lot of crap and dance music, which we don't really like. We don't do that, do we? It's very sad that I actually got the last one, which was Venga Boys. Not because I like them. I just recognised the... I think I must have heard it in another quiz recently. I think that's what I'm going with. That's my excuse. That's how I know what it, it was Venga Boys. I have no idea how I know that. It's waiting for the scores now. Coming up the last round. So waiting for the scores now. Ah, they voted for the Venga Boys to be paid. Oh Boys dear, dear, dear. Because I knew they would go for it. In Bloom is next on the list there. Um, and I don't know, I've never predicted that in a million years. Beautiful people as well. Um, as you can hear, Jennifer's not happy. Um, I just, I didn't think it would be a good people. And what was... Uh, Let's well. just turn that off. So we're waiting for the scores now, yeah, and I'll go and have a break. look at Apart it. Apart from Venga Boys, <laughs> what are we looking for? I'm looking for Jimmy. Oh, I've lost it. There we are. Cool. Just in case as well. Okay, right. right. Okay, no scores wise here. Let's see how far we've dropped. Where were we? Right, I'm gonna put this on the screen for you. Scores wise. Twenty something, were we? Yeah, we mm, We're still not back at the bottom. Oh. Still in the top 30. 26. We've only gone down about two spaces. That's not bad. So, um, oh, hello, where are you? There you are. I'm actually just going to have a quick look at Jennifer because she's crying. I'm very orange. I don't know what's happened to that. And um, it's a break, so we'll be back at the end of third round. Hopefully things will get better.
because things can only get better. That was very bad. That last round was terrible, it was all rubbish. But we're waiting to find out what it is. It's just deciding what quiz to do next week. Basically. Well, I've got one big final question for you as well. I've got that. Don't log yourselves off. Well, they've got another, another question. I've got a big question to do. <sighs> I look tired. Uh, right, there we go. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely going to be naughty. Oh, well, we won't be doing it next week if it's yeah, naughty. We'll do the general knoll instead. Uh, hey, Saturday. And we're in the park again. Surprise, surprise. I think of other things I'd rather be doing, but it's better than watching Waffle. And she's having fun, and that's all that matters, really. It's, it's just busy, and I don't like a lot of people, even if they are all little. <laughs> but there's another quiz tonight, general knowledge. And she's been cute. Uh, I might try and clean some records later. My battery's running out, so I won't be doing much vlogging down here, but hey, see you in a bit. So we've been for a bit of a walk, and uh, Jennifer's having a run, as you can see. She loves running. She loves running. Saturday night, Jennifer's in bed. I've caught the sun, so my arm's itching again. So it was quiz time. My phone's decided to just freeze on me, so that's not good because we use that as our answer key pad. I have got fruit pastels I found from last night. Knickknacks, nice and spicy, and Cadbury's white chocolate. This is so nice. So I'm set up. Let's just hope we can get us working because there's not much charge left on the Kindle Fire, which is the other thing we use, but we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, it does that sometimes. It's a blinking nuisance because we're about to start the quiz. Going very well. We're in 46th position. There's only like 52 people playing. Uh-oh. It's one of our worst ones. Uh -oh. Never mind. I'm going to go and get more crisps because I can. We're really not doing well. We think it's because we're so tired. Um, we're 46 out of 56. As you can see, I'm really hot. I'm really warm. So I'm going to go to the bathroom and get ready for the final round. End of the quiz, and we didn't end up as far down. <laughs> Paul celebrated the leaderboard as before. We actually came 32, and we thought we were going to be like right bottom because at one point we we're 46. So that was fun. I mean, it is fun. We do have a laugh, and we're putting it down to we're really tired and just can't think. We could have done better. Yeah, I mean, I got one wrong, which I should have got right because I hit the. I hadn't pressed it all incorrectly. And um, yeah, so it's one of those things. We've been enjoying it. It's a laugh. We're both absolutely shattered. I'm hoping Jennifer's going to be asleep when I go up because I just want to sleep. Started filming my um, video of the uh, records. Oh, I'm so tired. I know. I might finish it if she's awake. Just so. There's a lot. And I want to clean them so we can listen to them. But yeah, that was fun. Anyway, that's, I think that's probably going to be it for tonight. Unless I clean some records or do some records. I don't know. Alright. If it is, night. I'll see you tomorrow. Sunday. Shopping day. Auction day. Missed the auction today. Which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, we'll have a look tomorrow. Some good stuff. Hi guys. It's Sunday. I haven't vlogged today. It's Sunday evening. We've just put Jennifer to bed. It's been a normal Sunday. We uh, went shopping, watched the auction. Everything went for far too much. Um, so didn't buy anything today. As you can see the things hanging down but don't worry about that um, so then I'm gonna wrap it up for today um, but yeah I'm gonna try and get back to doing some eBay tomorrow I'm gonna do some measuring in a bit I might go and clean a few records I said I was gonna do that so I might uh, set it up and, and have a cup of tea and clean for a bit some records I might listen to some music you never know depends what Paul wants to do um, so I'll see you tomorrow with the next weekly vlog bye guys